Hunter stocks its per Hello, fellow shopper. Make anything there? Agatha always knew how to put a smile on my face. Anything new in the war room? Nope. We're at nominal levels of war. Hey, did Blade talk to you about tonight? Uh, no. What is tonight? Ah, spoiler. He wants to tell you himself. Don't let me keep you. Can you give me a hint about what Blade wants? Not a chance. Go talk to him. He's looking for you. Yes, hello. Hey! A few of us are meeting up tonight. It's a book club. You're probably busy, but if not, the other said I should invite you. A book club? Yeah, I didn't figure the great and powerful hunter would be into a book club. Ugh, I am less of a book reader and more of a demon puncher. That's kind of what we read about. Anyway, I'm headed to the meeting. I doubt it's your thing, but if you're interested, you could tag along. After you. Okay then. Blade's giving you the stink eye. Or maybe he doesn't like the punch. Either way, I think he wants to speak with you. Here's how this works. We pick out a book, we read the book, and then next meeting we talk about the book. It's my turn to pick, so give me a minute. I need to narrow it down. Did you already talk about today's book? Well, no, there isn't one for today. You are being evasive, and I do not know why. This is technically our first meeting. I thought this was a regular thing you did. Yeah, I want it to be. Doesn't matter how sharp your weapons are if your mind is as dull as a brick. Just give me some space. I need to find the right book if I'm going to. I need to pick the right book, okay? All right. This is the first book club I've been to that didn't devolve into a knockdown, drag out fight. Must have been some book club. A few years back, Bruce and Tony started an Avengers literature circle. First book chosen was Banner's favorite. Tony hated it, said it was the worst poetry he'd ever read. 
that a mascara blinded lab monkey could have written it better. I still don't know what that means. Turned out, it wasn't Banner's favorite book, it was Hulk's. Oh no. We lost two floors of Avengers Tower before he calmed down. What happened next? Black Widow invoked the this is why we can't have nice things rule and banned book clubs from meeting at the tower. I hope I have time for this. I used to be in one of these with my friend Jess, but it fell apart. What happened? I got reassigned, she had a kid, aliens invaded, the usual. Aliens? Yeah, it's been a busy decade. All right, I made my decision. So, what is it going to be? The first book we'll read for Book Club will be The Art of War by Sun Tzu. Ooh, a classic. Yep, that's an old book. Way older than The Hunter. How old is this book? 5th century BCE. Ancient and still relevant. Can you give me a quick summary? It's about war. Come on, Hunter. I cannot wait to check it out. Was that a library pun? I do not know. How would you say it stacks up? Stop. Right now, or so help me, I will ban you from book club. Anyway, our time is tight. I get it. But stop by the library and read the book before the next meeting. But I hope you read the whole thing. This book is one of my favorites. The katana gave that away. <laughs> yeah, I'm always around if you want to chat about it. Ah, uh, I'll save it for the next book club. I could chat about it. Uh, nah, I'm good. I think that went well. Carol seemed to enjoy herself. What do you think? Blade, did you start a book club so Carol would join it? No, yes, sort of. We were talking about books, and I may have suggested the two of us read a book and talk about it. Captain America overheard and expressed interest. Carol said I was starting a book club, and he asked if he could join. Then what? What was I supposed to do? Say no to Captain America? Knowledge is the key to a person's heart. You think? It might be the key to Carol's heart. The key to mine is a silver stake, so you got the better end of the deal. Glad you came, Hunter. But don't forget to do the reading. All right, I will. I'm not kidding. Hello, my sweet girl. Hunter, hello. Hi. Hey, 
Hey, a hunter. Central will crack the code. I'm not gonna sleep well after reading this. Tony and Doctor Strange may think they're the epicenter of our operations, but we all know this is where the real magic happens. Bye. Who are we sending on an op? No problem. Thanks, Hunter. Bad guys better start running. Successful collaboration. So, how's the whole saving the world thing going? What can I say except you're welcome? Another project? All right, here's the plan. I'll hit this thing with the big hammer and you transform it into something useful. That's all I can expect of your contribution then? No materials analysis, no tactical projections, nothing? Nope, I'm feeling hands-on today. Just gonna hammer stuff and see how it goes. You do your thing. Ugh, this is why I despise group projects. Now we're talking. Allow us to assist you. This should prove useful. I'm here if you need me.
Ready to work? We've got plenty of tricks for old dogs. No excuses here. Haha, <laughs> nothing's gonna stop me now. No magic, right? All right, then. Practice makes perfect. Hydra won't want to tussle with me now. I think we've got something for everyone. Just sit back. Always improve. Nice to get some fresh air. Hardly any cobwebs or ghosts out here. Caretaker and Agatha trained you well.
Thanks, Hunter. You lead with a sense of confidence and authority. What can I say? It's good to be me. Hunter? Good girl, Charlie. days it feels like I'm stuck in a time warp, Hunter. Oh? How so? This current team, they're so different than the Midnight Suns you once knew. Yet when I see you all together, it's like nothing has changed. I have to remind myself that Jeremiah, Will, Endra, Yelena, they've been gone for centuries now. I still wish I could have had a proper goodbye. Something to tell them how much they meant to me. I know it's not much comfort, Hunter, but I didn't get to say goodbye either. Like you, they died fighting Lilith. I will never forgive her for that. For what it's worth, I still think of the old team often. Same here. Except for you? It has been hundreds of years. For me, it was like yesterday. Yet here we are. I just hope things end differently this time. Read or die, that's what I've always said. on the journal if by progress you mean genetic experimentation recipes demonic incantations and what strange here thinks is some sort of wait for it lilith fan fiction faustus wrote in a 10,000 year old dead language ancient atlantean then sure tons i actually speak a little atlantean t o mile oth ep isith <laughs> <laughs> but I did find this a hole we think it's a shipping facility or smuggling Faustus may have been a demented loon but the man kept some pretty detailed records possibly for stealing from me via the hole let me guess that's why I'm here. Well, given the nocturnal and clandestine nature of this operation, as well as your experience in dealing with subterranean affairs... I'll bet. Ever wonder why you people only come to me for the dirty work? Because you're a vampire? You sleep in the actual dirt? Or a coffin? I mean, there's sort of a point buried in there. <laughs> Sorry. Let's go.
sound like a diva, but just once, I would like a mission on a tropical beach. Checking out a big dark hole in the ground does not excite you? Been there before. Thrill wears off. Combing through Faustus's twisted ramblings wasn't the easiest job in the world. Out of the sanctum. Good, then there must be a way to smuggle ourselves inside. Let me guess, stealth not your style? I'm a vampire, remember? We invented stealth. Tell that to them. Hydra forces in this area are causing trouble. Let's take them down. I can. If you're done showing off, why don't we move on Hydra and put an end to their artifact smuggling operation for good? No problem.
That was really something. centuries ago. You had your chance to escape. thermal scan. This hole branches from here across the entire city. What the hell was Faustus doing down here? You'd have to ask Crossbones. Artifact while we can.
bad. Not great, but not bad. Hydra has always sought power from the occult, but this feels different. It's one thing to steal artifacts, but this entire setup feels like a distribution center. But distribution to where? If my mother is involved, nowhere good. Then I'm betting it somehow involves her. Welcome assistance. The advantage is mine. how well Hydra manages to attract new recruits despite decades of ineptitude. scope of Hydra's operations in this city are staggering, especially considering the number of heroes that take up residence here. The greatest lie the devil ever told was convincing the world he didn't exist. Watch closely. I fully intend to make this as miserable as possible for you, fair warning. Try and hold out. We've got one of the artifacts. We've done it. Excellent work.
Hunter's been busy. Whatever the hell they're doing down here. It smells wicked. Remind you of something? The Sanctum. Back door? Gonna say yes. We serve our mother. We await the return of the midnight sun. We hate interlopers. And their little brains. I would have preferred the fire dragoon. forces in this area are causing trouble. Let's take them down. No argument here. This is one of the stronger arms. We did come all the way here for a fight. tactic. This good in here.
time to bleed. We are not out of this yet. That door of his may be our best bet at getting through to the Sanctum and finally taking the fight to Lilith. Smells like fresh meat, surface meat, so much better than sewer meat. Sweet, sweet surface meat. Yeah, I'm sure he'll let us through if we just ask nicely. for Hydra. Hydra would make a far easier meal than us, monster. Yes, but underneath their crunchy shell, the meat is spoiled. Mother's blood makes them stronger. It sours the flavor. Too much gamma for our liking. Well, that put me off my lunch.
search for wealth and power with just a tinge of fascism. Hmm. Hydra will never change. doesn't know when to quit. There is no end to Hydra's reinforcements, even down here in the sewers. Deal with them if they are in the way. But Venom is the priority. Yes. Food should not play with other food. Especially when we are hungry. That's something of a relief, at least. We've done it. Excellent work.
destiny. I thought Venom's breath was bad. It is. Hmm. You know I'm kidding, don't you, Charlie? <laughs> How long was I out? Days. What happened? Before or after you exploded? The collar. Still intact. Though, I'll admit, when Agatha and I first made it for you, we didn't anticipate the need to withstand alien energy. Felt like more than that. As if I... Thankfully, the Venom creature didn't seem to like it either. Ran off through that gate of his. Which is why Blade was able to get you home. Next time, I will send that thing straight into the Abyss. Next time, there will be no next time. I know I've been pushing things hard. Pushing you. That's what you do. Maybe not on this one. At least until we find a way to counteract the volatile effect of these compounding alien and mystic energies. Which reminds me, Strange and Stark have been chomping at the bit to come see you. Which, of course, I would not allow. Hope you are not too rough on them. Me? Of course not. Though I can't speak for Charlie. Still, wouldn't hurt to show your face around here when you're ready. People are starting to worry. We've really been putting the pedal to the Hydra metal, huh, Hunter? Haven't seen the Hell Right this fired up since... Well, ever. I thought she could use a little tune-up and we could use a little break to catch up. What is on your mind, Robbie? Honestly, just wanted to say thanks. I was starting to feel like a fifth wheel around here for a while. But lately, not so much. Even old Sparky agrees. He... well... Both of us just wanted to say thanks. Nice to feel useful. Know what I mean? Mm -hmm. 
You are not the only one who doubts themselves, Robbie. You have doubts? Of course I do. Sometimes I think the only thing that is reigning in my internal demons is this collar. Not that you or Sparky need one. Thanks, Hunter. Hearing that helps me more than you know. Who would have thought a 300-year-old demon hunter from Old Salem, Massachusetts hanging with the spirit of vengeance from East L.A. in a magically restored transient abbey as, you know, friends? Stranger things have happened. And will happen, I am sure. And I look forward to all of them. And you are certain it will hold? We wouldn't be standing here if I wasn't. You two focus on the creature. I will worry about the collar. Haven't really seen Blade since he got back from the sewer. Carrying Hunter home on his back. He's still outside. Being extra broody. Maybe you should talk with him. Um... Good idea. I'll go with you if you like. Um... All I'm saying is the tower's lost. We're no closer to breaking through Slimerama's sanctum shield, and our exalted chosen one just... woke up. And is listening to our every word. Uh, it's great to see you on your feet again, boss. I hear I owe you my thanks. You know, when you were resurrected, I was sure you wouldn't be able to overcome the darkness inside you. 
What do you think now? I'm beginning to think I was right. You are your mother's kid, all right. No escaping that. There's nothing wrong with who I am, or how I entered this world. If you are mortal, I'd agree, but you aren't. You're a demon, a half-breed like me. I know the battle you're having with yourself every day, because I fight the same one. Thing is, I'm getting the feeling you're about to surrender. You are crying out for your mother, calling out her name like a lost kid at a theme park while all this crazy-ass dark energy was swirling around your body, almost taking it over. I was so sure you were about to fall that I didn't leave your side. Surprised you came too with the light still in your eyes. I feel fortunate to have you looking out for me, Daywalker. You and I? We share the same burden of bad, and that's some heavy shit to carry. I want you to know, you don't have to carry it alone. I would appreciate you not sharing what you witnessed with the rest of the team. I don't plan to. It's not mine to share. I'll leave that to you. Is that the first explosion you've survived? If so, you deserve a cookie. Uh, to be clear, I'm not going to bake it for you. If I had time, I'd take care of these myself, but I... Thanks, Hunter. Hunter, I would really like to speak with you, if you have a moment. Caretaker, are you all right? That's what I wanted to ask you. I know you're on your feet and seem fine after that explosion with Venom. But I know all too well from experience that sometimes the worst injuries are not visible to the naked eye. So, please tell me, Hunter, are you actually as fine as you seem this morning? Or should I be worried? No, caretaker. I am not. My collar, the explosion, it cracked it. Cracked? Yes. I feared this would happen. Venom was filled with your mother's power. It would be naive to think it couldn't fracture even our best defenses against her. Ugh. At least cracked doesn't mean broken. Not yet, at least. You will have to work doubly hard to rein in your darkness. Your actions and words mean more than ever now. Make sure you use them with integrity. I understand. Yeah, well... I guess I should stop fussing over you and go see what horrors Hydra has in store for us today. As you were, Hunter. You're one tough cookie, Hunter. Biscotti level tough. Biscotti? Teeth breaking Tony kind of cookie. If only I was more teeth breaking with Venom. Yeah, not your best moment, but it wasn't a total bust. We learned that it takes more than an energy blast straight from hell to wipe you out. True. And that blade? 
He's an asset. I owe him my life. Yeah, he gets five stars from me. And ass-kicking abilities aside, he's pretty on point with his movie references. Outside the mission stuff, I gotta say, I had my doubts about Blade. The brooding vibe, the sunglasses indoors, his lack of preference between a Chicago style versus New York, which is just plain wrong. But the more I see him in action, the more I think he might be an okay dude. I can confidently say he is one of the more promising Dampiers I have ever fought beside. That's some compliment coming from you. I have a feeling that's a very exclusive list. And I can say the same. Although my list includes probably just Blade. Anyway, I wanted to ask how you were and it turned into a full-blown cooler talk. Better get back to work before the boss notices. Catch you later. saying is that it's never a good thing. I'm sure I'm not the first person to inquire on this fine morning, but seeing as how you did explode in what I might describe as a most spectacular fashion, any side effects I should know about? Headache? Blurred vision? The urge to murder us all? Something did happen that I would consider a side effect. There is no need to be coy, Hunter. I've seen my fair share of embarrassing side effects. Unwanted hair growth, growing third eyes, uncontrollable flagellation. Nothing shocks me anymore. Except for Tony's night terrors. And chronic bedwetting. But, in all seriousness, I hope you feel comfortable enough to disclose any medical conditions you may be experiencing now. We can't, in good conscience, send you back into battle against Hydra if you're not in tip-top condition. My collar. I am afraid the explosion cracked it. Cracked? How big is this crack? Minor. Almost undetectable. Hmm, a small fissure should not be a problem. Your collar is made of tough stuff. Almost as tough as you. But if you see it expanding even a millimeter, you must, and I mean must, come to me immediately. Absolutely. You have my word, Doctor. Is there anything else I can help you with? Any burning philosophical questions about the universe you need answering? I should take my leave. There is much to do. Yes, yes there is. Just... Don't push yourself too hard. You are, after all, still part human. We're missing something, Hunter. And the frustrating thing is it's happening right in front of us. Where? The Sanctum is filthy with Hydra. Too many of them. It wouldn't take many guards to secure the building. So the question is, what else are they doing in there? Have you considered they are reinforcing the Sanctum in order to make it a stronghold? Why focus on reinforcing one building when you can be taking other regions of the world? Something is about to happen there. I can feel it. And I'm telling you, Hunter, it's too important to ignore. It's vital that we get a sample from Venom. We have to get through that barrier. Our list of problems continues to grow longer. Well, we're not here for the easy stuff.
Glad to see you back on your feet again. Strange and I tried to stop by for a little house call while you were out, but turns out your dog is part flamethrower. She is very protective. That's one word for it. Listen, I know you're probably hearing all sorts of comments after your last tangle with Venom. For what it's worth, we both just wanted to say that we don't think you should get within 50 light years of that thing until we sort out what the hell's going on between you two. How does the old saying go? Slash me once, shame on you. Slash me twice. I couldn't have said it better. It's like I'm talking to a living meme. I would hope not. The last meme was killed during the Great Culling. Their mimic abilities made them one of the deadliest threats of the old world. Right. Let's get back to fighting the giant alien slime monster. Look, Strange and I have been studying pieces of that symbiote ever since this nightmare began. Problem is, the further they get from the source, the more their molecular structure changes, which basically renders them useless to us. In zombie movie terms, I need a sample from Patient Zero. The old slime ball himself. Venom. Or Eddie, if you talk to Peter. Either way, that's our guy. We get a sample from him, somehow maintain its molecular integrity long enough for Strange and I to poke around at it, and, well, we're in business. Let me guess. You have a new gadget in mind for the task. Gadget? No, not a gadget. Plans for a groundbreaking device to solve this insurmountable problem and keep you from exploding next time you fight the indestructible monster? You betcha. I like where this is going. Good. Calling it my symbiote sampler for now. Hey, I ran out of acronyms, okay? Stage one in stopping our symbiote nightmare once and for all. Meet me over by ye old anvil over there, and we can get started. Oh, you're not afraid of needles, right? Needles? Forget I asked. I could not have predicted this outcome, but it is intriguing. You know, I really could do just as well without you loitering back there. How else am I going to steal it? All right, let's get started. Please tell me it's not another animal. It's all in the wrist, really. Shh, 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 shh. Tony is working. Hey, Hunter. What can I say except you're welcome? I'm pretty sure Charlie left a steaming coil in the hallway. Third state of matter, indeed. See you, Hunter.
Ah, oh, this is exactly what I needed. A chance to quiet my cluttered mind and just... be. What thoughts clutter your mind, Doctor? Ever since the Sanctum was lost, I felt a bit adrift. Lost in a cosmic sea in which I've lost my ability to navigate. I've been giving a lot of thought to the direction my life will take if we survive your mother's apocalypse, but... Who am I if I'm not Sorcerer Supreme? Sorcerer Supreme or not, you are still an Avenger. But is that all I am? All I want to be? Perhaps this is what you should meditate on. Yes, that's a bright idea. Thank you for still having faith in me, even when I've lost faith in myself. You are proving to be a most unexpected friend. Heard about the explosion. Glad you're okay. Yeah, something tells me it won't be the spontaneous combustion you'll encounter. Hey! You walked away and Venom did not? Impressive. There is my ferocious Charlie girl. What have you been doing, Ebony? Time to take it to the next level. Even a Sorcerer Supreme can let them go.
Nothing I can't handle. Point me at him. See you out here again. Roger that. You're never too old to improve. Beat up your grandfather back in the day, too. What do you call a private who failed at a boot camp? A Hydra officer.
nice of Lilith to keep restocking the practice dummies for us. Settle this. This is still happening. Lasted five minutes back at Camp Lehigh. is at hand. Change their minds yet. Confirmed. 
Can't seem to lose them. I'm going in. I don't think they even realize the trouble there. Not going to like this. You're not going to wear me down. We've got incoming. Situation is under control for now. Remember that. their interest yet. Maybe it's time to rethink your life. Time to run away, but you better get going.
Look so tough. You sure you're up for this? Nice armor. Pity if someone punched a hole in it. Target confirmed. Gonna be that easy. Hostile reinforcements on the board. I still don't like your odds.
settled. Still coming this way. Stay home. You'll have to excuse me if I don't cower in fear. Sure you're up for this? You'll have to excuse me if I don't cower in fear. Probably beat up your grandfather back in the day, too. I'm on it. You brought this on yourself. Time to run away, but you better get going. Let's set it. I must be doing something right. Target confirmed. I never forget a face.
Thanks, Hunter. Heard you walked away from a kaboom. You didn't look back, did you? Superheroes don't look back at explosions. They just keep on walking. It's a pro tip for you.